Thanks largely to its gargantuan coking plant, Avdivka has remained a bustling town despite being right on the front line. Most people here don't like to talk about the war. No comment. Пошли. Новости вообще стараюсь не смотреть, чтобы и так тут жизни свою дала. On the southern edge of town, though, this is the landscape. A warren of bombed-out factory buildings forms part of the Ukrainian line of defence. There's fighting nearly every day. Russian-backed forces are less than 100 metres from here. Последовательности дій немає, тобто в будь-який час може пролунати будь-який постріл. To the lieutenant, will Russia invade Ukraine is not the right question. Russia is already on the territory of Ukraine. We don't need to be convinced that when the Russian forces of Ukraine are in the Polon, they are in the Russian documents, they have a Russian passport, a Russian army passport. Still, the troops here say they don't expect a major escalation in fighting. They say that there will be some attack, there will be some attack of the army techniques. The front line in Donbass has not moved significantly for nearly seven years, but the situation remains unstable. Russia does not accept Ukraine's pro-Western geopolitical orientation, and Ukraine does not accept the occupation of part of its territory by the Kremlin's forces. Five kilometers from the front line, this community center is the work of active citizens of a town that oddly bears the name New York. They're very alarmed by the reports of Russia's troop buildup particularly when the source is U.S. intelligence. Конечно, на этом фоне слышать о том, что будет еще хуже, не дай бог, но это, конечно же, тяжело. Уже там семь лет войны, это очень тяжело. Теперь понимаем, что она очень надолго затянется. Уже пришло такое понимание. Хватит на весь наш век. The last time residential buildings in this town were shelled was as recently as 2019.